Hey YouTube world, this is Marvin with Better Way to Connect TV and I have here um, the new update to Nextbox. Actually Nextbox reached out to me and they sent me their new updated version of their um, Android TV box. So I just it just arrived in the mail today and I want to do an unboxing and then we're going to get into a review. Okay, So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy for you guys. I'm all excited. I'm always excited whenever I get a new a new uh, Android TV box because, like I said before on my previous uh, uh, my my previous reviews, um, the technology is changing all the time, and so these boxes are getting more and more. They, well, the prices are going down, but these boxes, man, they're getting more and more uh, capable of, uh, of giving you what you need, you know. And so again, an Android TV box for some of you guys out there. Uh, it is a great alternative if you're trying to cut back, if you're trying to cut down on, on your cable bill. Um, a lot of people who are not, I always used to like to say, if you're not in an area uh, that's, you know, good for you to do over the air antenna, an Android TV box is a really good device for you. Now, it's not as easy as a regular TiVo or cable box or anything like that. There's still some some um, some things you gotta you you gotta overcome, but still at the at the end of the day, you're trying to save money, okay? So that's what it's all about. And then plus, not only that, you're gonna get a really really nice streaming device, okay? Really nice streaming device. So again, <laughs> with the pack, and they make sure these packs. Uh, look at that. They make sure that these boxes get to me uh, unscuffed. <laughs> Unscuffed. So the box is nice and clean. It's good. It's called Next Box. We got a um, four-core CPU in here, uh, 4K HD, ready and Wi-Fi. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out. And uh, so, like I said, this is the new version, the new updated version. So let's go ahead and open it up. Do the unboxing for you guys. Let me see what's on the back. Okay, so CPU, you got a rocket chip, the RK3229 quad-core, Cortex A7, 1.5 gigahertz. So the GPU is a Pentacore HD graphics. Uh, we got one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of uh, storage, and then uh, it's got just, well, the Wi-Fi is a little lacking. It's uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So I'm assuming if you want to do 4K, if you're going to stream 4K on this box, you don't want to do Wi-Fi. You want to have it connected hardwired um, to your router if you're going to do that. Really, really small device. Again, I'm liking it already. Okay, look how small this device is, guys. Let me see if I have something to give it a comparison to. Um, oh, here is my Galaxy Note. Okay, Galaxy Note. Galaxy Note 4, actually. And here is the device. Okay, so it's the Galaxy Note almost covers the device. It, well, it does, it just about covers it almost. You can see a little bit of edge over here on this side. But it, that's how small this device is, okay? Next smart. I like it already. Okay. So I'm assuming that this right here is where the, um, the IR blaster is, okay? Alrighty. So on this side, you got a micro SD card um, and two U USB ports. Uh, they're 2.0 ports, two USB 2.0. And then in the back, you got your... You got your your power. Uh, you got your HDMI, and this is a 3.5 audio video jack. This is your Ethernet, and then this is my eyes are getting bad, guys. Let me see what is this here? Uh, will it? Yeah. I'm thinking this is for your SPDIF. Okay, your SPDIF cable, audio cable. Okay. So that's what that's for. Okay, nothing on this side. Really small device, guys. Really small device. You can, I mean, you literally won't see this. Uh, you won't see this if you, it's got a little air vents on the bottom. And so 
what I mean by technology, technology is making these boxes so much smaller, so much easier to, um, uh, you know, to hide away, so to speak, you know. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I forgot. Let me show you the website where you can pick this box up, okay? Uh, okay, so you can get it from Amazon at the time of this unboxing and review. It is $27.99. So, and then you can look at some of the specs right here on the side, okay? We got Cody on here, 4K, it's 4K ready that it is. Uh, it's also 3D ready. But you know, when they say, when you see 4K and, and it's 3D, um, that's, that's actually through Cody, okay? Most of the time when I've gotten this to work, 4K and the 3D is through the Cody um, uh, uh, app that I've gotten the 4K to come through in 3D. So they kind of, they're not, they're not, you know, <laughs> they're not telling a lie, but because the box will do 4K, uh, but uh, it's not like it's a native app on the box that's going to do 4K for you, okay? Um, you got one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of storage, and then, of course, your regular uh, YouTube, Netflix, so forth and so on, okay? So we're going to go ahead and check this out. And um, it's got the newest quad core A7 chip on here. Okay, so it's a, the newest chipset. And boom, we're going to see what it's all about. Um, anyway, so you guys can see already. So let's continue with the unboxing and see what else is in the box. And you, you pretty much know. If you guys are familiar with the Android TV boxes, you pretty much know what's in here. Um, of course, you get your your HDMI cable, your power adapter which is 5 volts okay so you already know this little device is not going to use that it's not going to use that much energy okay and then your remote now I like these remotes right here I've gotten this remote before on uh, the previous model and it worked just fine okay so really like this remote it um, it's very accurate when you when you press the buttons it activates right away so uh, really easy to understand real simple real simple to use okay so what else is in the box you got your manual okay so your Android TV box manual and it's just basic stuff in here basic user information about the box the apps and stuff okay so again just a real simple device. Um, if you're on a budget, $27.99. You know, I don't see where you can go wrong, man. I don't see where you can go wrong. Uh, especially if you're trying to cut the cable. Uh, this little box right here can help you out in so many different ways. You can watch all your shows. You can stream all your stuff. Um, you don't have to come out of the pocket. Um, if you don't watch that, t if you don't watch TV that much, this would be something perfect for you. You know, you just when you come home, you want to sit down and relax, and you, do, and you feel like you do want to watch something. This is perfect for you, and you don't have to be scrapped to a humongous cable bill. Okay, so I, I can't say enough good things about this. So the next portion of this video, you're gonna see me uh, hook it up to the television set, and we're gonna take us through the paces and see what it looks like. Okay, all right, stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back uh, with the next smart box. And uh, this is, I have it set here um, up to my, uh, my test set. And I just wanna basically show you guys how simple it is to connect this box. Um, right here is your one HDMI out and then you have your power, power um, connection. You don't have to be a techno whiz guys, it's just that simple. The HDMI out right here goes to HDMI one, on the back of the uh, the TV okay um, this right here is for my antenna if anybody's wondering and then we have the power which goes here okay so like I said this is just my test bench um, I just wanted to show you that's all it is to connect this little simple powerful box okay the next smart box okay so let's go ahead and get into the uh, the actual review all right, guys. Here's uh, the the next smart box. All right. Um, like I said, this is um, well. The first thing that comes to mind 
is um, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. The reason why I say that is because I've already completed a review of this uh, of this next smart box, but for uh, copyright reasons, uh, YouTube has decided to block the original video, so I have to do it again. Um, but I just want everyone to understand what I'm trying to say here. I want to be absolutely clear when I say that um, all rights are reserved to any of the um, the content that I'm about to show. All rights are reserved to those owners of that content. I do not own or publish any of these uh, any of the content that I'm about to show you. This is just only for educational purposes. Uh, this is a review of the next smart box. Okay. Uh, I am just a reviewer and not a salesman of the box. Um, the people from NextSmart, they reached out to me to do an honest review and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so with that being said, uh, I want to show you the two remotes that I use. Uh, this is the remote that actually came with the box and it is an, it's a really, really good remote guys. I didn't have any problems with it. Sometimes when you see these remotes, some of these remotes aren't as uh, as good as as, uh, as others, uh, but this one seems to work really really well with this box. Okay, again, this box only has one gigabyte of RAM and uh, eight gigabytes of in store and uh, on-site storage or inside storage. Um, I also picked this up too. This is an Air Mouse. Okay, so right here, this is the Air Mouse. I'll show you guys. So let me see if I can close in on it for you. Okay. So that's the air mouse and on the back it has a QWERTY keyboard. Okay. Which is really nice. The QWERTY keyboard on the back and then you got your air mouse. So if I, you should see, there we go. And so wherever I move my hand, that's where the mouse goes. This is a pretty good mouse. I like it a lot guys. I'll make sure I put links to both of these, um, uh, remotes in the descriptions when I post it, post the, the uh, the review now for some of you who may be asking uh, what is an Android TV box uh, an Android TV box is a streaming device that allows you to watch content over the internet so uh, what I would I would describe this as something similar to Apple TV or um, a Roku box or a fire TV box okay uh, but this thing here does so much more. It's, I want to say literally, it's like a, a, a mini PC, a mini media PC, actually. Okay, so I'm going to scroll through here just so you guys, these are the most, uh, these are the most common used apps. The one, and now you can, you can uh, take uh, the most often used apps, I should say. You can adjust these if you want, uh, just by hitting this uh, plus sign. And then you can go through here and 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 check the ones that you want. Okay, just like that. And so, so if you want to, uh, let's say we want to take take your browser off and put Facebook up. Let's let me do that for you. Now log. There we go. And so let me see if there's anything else. Um, I like. Uh, so let's take Mob Draw off. Okay, and put Plex on. I like that a lot. Okay, and let me see what else. Let's trade something out. HGTV, let's take that out and let's put in Sling TV. Okay, boom. And now we're going to go back and it should, there we go. Now all the, the ones that I've checked, you see Sling TV is there. Um, Facebook is there. I put that there. Plex is there. So you can adjust this how, however you like. Okay, um, let's go into uh, my apps. So you guys can get a few, uh, a full view. Now I downloaded Beach Boogie Blitz, and I'm going to show you a couple seconds of Beach Boogie Blitz, uh, just to see how the gaming is on this um, on this box. Uh, don't expect much. I mean, this is not uh, you know a PS3 by any means, uh, but this is something definitely for the kids uh, to you know to to keep them busy uh, for hours. And, and Beach Boogie Blitz is free on the Google um, the Google Play Store, so you can download that and other games too. Um, that's the one cool thing about the Android TV. It gives you the power of the Google Play Store behind it. I mean, you can you can you can check your emails. Um, you can go online. It has a full browser, 
and I'm pulling up the browser here okay let me just uh you know what I forgot to I had it uh, connected to Ethernet hardline let me back out of this I'm gonna take a minute here and put it on Wi-Fi and then I'll be right back okay guys I'm back I went ahead and put it on Wi-Fi now everything's up and running um, here we go so just to just to go back into I, I, we were talking about this it, it does have a browser on here so let me go back into my apps again and let's scroll up and I just want to show you this right quick like um, no I hit the wrong one sorry about that and browser here we go and that's your browser now again this box it only has one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of, uh, of on-site storage so I mean the way the way they did the chipset on this box um, it is really amazing to me because I've seen other boxes with the same with the same um, specs but just don't operate as smoothly as this one so they worked out the kinks uh, tremendously now um, it came already pre-installed with Netflix um, mob Droll was one of the apps that came uh, already installed uh, Cody was already installed and it actually was uh, programmed pre-programmed I did not have to do anything to this box so basically uh, when I received it I opened it up and this is how Cody came okay so your add-ons are already there uh, Exodus channel one and they all work guys all these add-ons work so you can watch all your shows all your movies um, basically for free okay that's right I said it for free um, and that's the big claim to frame with with Cody a lot of a lot of folks like Cody because they can watch all of their shows uh, even old shows too I'm talking about like back in the day shows like Martin or um, let me see um, let's let's go with the right off the top of my head um, uh, an old show from back in the day back in the 80s and stuff this thing will find it and play it for you okay um, so let's go back home here and let's see if we can get it go back here we go all right take the mouse off and um, so literally all together it took me basically about maybe 10 minutes to log into um, my apps um, I did an update I logged into Google I did an update and it came right up now for copyright reasons I don't want to play any of this stuff but I just wanted to show you that it does work I'm scrolling through Netflix everything is fine okay so let's back up out of this um, and let's go to already uh, crackle I'm sure everybody knows about crackle they give that's for free you can download that on the Android uh, the Android Play Store uh, that actually came pre-installed uh, film on live came pre-installed it is now you can uh, watch free television through film on um, and you can also subscribe to through film on to watch uh, HD quality content um, and so this is this is free right here okay so let's just back about it that so I, I know it's a commercial but we don't want to get hit for copyright infringement okay so that is that let's go back into my apps again and Hulu I'm just gonna snap on that right quick like and show you that it does come up we didn't have any problems with this this is Hulu I haven't logged in yet but it does work I have checked it out okay let's go back and let's keep it moving guys let's go to oh yeah if you have a Pandora account this is for your music Pandora Pandora works just fast I mean this box works really really good so if you are looking to cut the cable you want to cut back on your cable bill all you need is high-speed internet for this box and you buy this box and literally the only thing you uh, subscribe to is the stuff that you want like Netflix or Hulu or what have you here's Plex I downloaded Plex it did not come pre-installed I downloaded Plex so guys this is definitely a basic user um, basic user box um, for those of you who do not know what Plex is Plex is a software 
that allows you to uh, watch your own movies. All of these movies right here, guys, I pre-install myself. Uh, well, I should say they are saved on my server here at home. So what you're looking at is the movies that I have in my server that I, uh, I have downloaded and put on my server, okay? So these are all movies that I purchased myself. Um, I have a huge, huge file. Um, my wife and kids love it. Big Hero 6. Um, so these are all oldies but goody, goody movies that I've saved and put on put on um, my uh, server here at home. Okay, so that's what Plex is all about. Um, and then Amazon Prime, Amazon Video. If you are an Amazon Prime member, okay, this is on here. Now, Amazon did not come pre-installed. This is an app that I installed myself. Um, it was easy for me to do it. No problems there. It works. I have uh, I have used it, um, but yeah, definitely no problems here. Okay, and so and Sling TV, uh, and then YouTube. Okay, now let me let me just pull up YouTube right quick. Like now, the highest quality that you get from YouTube is 1080p. Okay, that's the highest quality that you get from YouTube. Um, which is not a problem. It's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, these are, let me, let me see if I can scroll down and get to the bottom here. All right. So this is, it's just normal, regular YouTube, like we're used to. Okay. But the layout is just a little bit different because of the Android TV box. Um, they, that's the, the layout that they use. Now this box does 4k. Um, this TV is not 4K, but it does do 4K. Um, I had it on my previous review for this box. I had it connected to my 4K television and I used Ultra Flix to get 4K. And it worked fine, worked without a hitch. And now, just a little bit of background on the Ultra Flix uh, app itself it is free from the Google Play Store, but the movies you have to rent, okay? So let's go ahead and close that. The movies are, you have to rent, and they have they have some old movies on here, and they have some good movies. Uh, it's not as up to date as it doesn't have the most latest movies, but it does have some movies. And if you go like Into Darkness, um, okay, so this because the TV isn't 4K, it doesn't give you the 4K uh, preview version, but if this TV was 4K, you would see one block above the watch trailer and it would be 4K preview. And then and it would also let you rent the movie in 4K if you want to. Um, uh, some people don't like this, uh, this app because they say it is kind of clunky and I do agree with that. But after you get to get used to it and then you, uh, you see, you know, what it, what it can do and what it can't. Um, you know, you start to, to you like, okay, all right, cool. I understand how to work it now. Um, it's a little bit clunky. It doesn't operate normally like most apps would, which you would think, you know, would operate, but yeah, for what it does, it's, it's okay. Um, some people say that, um, on the reviews, if you guys download this on the reviews, you'll see some people say it was stuttering and buffering a lot. Uh, the movies, they couldn't watch it. Um, I didn't have that issue, okay, but I also have a really fast um, uh, internet uh, speed here at the house. And also at the same time, I had my box uh, connected uh, hardwired to my network. Um, I was not using UltraFlix on Wi-Fi. I think most of the people that were having problems was because they was using UltraFlix through Wi-Fi. And I mean, come on guys, this is a, this, we're talking about 4K content. Um, if you want to have 4K content with the least amount of problems, you want to have that hardwired. That's a huge file to be to, to be streaming over Wi-Fi. Unless you have a really strong Wi-Fi signal at your home uh, and you have a fast enough Wi-Fi speed, I would say go ahead and do it. If you don't have any other choice, go ahead and do it. But um, you may come into buffering issues if you uh, try to uh, stream 4K content over Wi-Fi. 
Uh, it's just a lot. It's a huge file. Okay, it's just a huge file. But my opinions on this box is, man, go ahead and do it. It's only twenty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cent at the time of this review. Um, you can't go wrong for the price of this box and for what it offers you. You cannot go wrong. So again, for my cord cutters out there, if you are in an area that uh, it's not conducive for you to get uh, over the air, you know, you it's you just in a bad signal area, you can't get over the air. You want to cut the cable. This is a good option for you. Okay, it allows you to watch local TV, like Sling TV right now allows you to watch your local t t television channels. It don't give you all of them, but at least it gives you a couple. I think three or four of your local stations, and it's only twenty dollars a month for the cheapest package. Twenty dollars a month. That's way, way cheaper than what you would have to do if you went through a cable company or a satellite company. It's only 20 bucks a month. And then also a good thing about that is that there's no contract. So you can you can quit Sling TV whenever you get ready. Um, if you want to cut back even more, you know, uh, other than that, a lot of people just use Cody to watch. They buy this box. A lot of people just use Cody because it has all the shows and everything on there for free. OK. So, um, hey, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not telling you to uh, do anything illegal, but I'm just telling you what people buy this box for. They buy the box for Cody and Cody has most of your television shows, most of your movies on here for free. OK, now I didn't do this, but this is what people are doing. And I'm just trying to inform anyone who comes to my channel. Hey, this is another way to save yourself some money. Um, this is a, in my opinion, this is a really good box. Uh, right here, you have memory cleaner. If the box starts to slow down, you just come back here to the home screen and you hit memory cleaner. And what this does is it closes out any apps that you may have running in the background. Uh, Google Play Store. Let me pull up Google Play Store for you. Oh, my bad. I made a mistake. This mouse is really, really sensitive, guys. So if you, uh, if you decide to purchase this mouse, uh, be aware that it's really sensitive. Uh, here's the Google Play Store. And it's just like on your phone or tablet. It looks just the same. And you got all your apps right here. All your games. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys what uh, Beach Boogie Blitz look like on here. I'm going to try to anyway. Um, but yeah, I did not have any problems whatsoever, guys. No problems. Okay, no problems with this. Okay, let's go back to home screen. So, um, yeah, I would think this, this, my opinion of this box is that it's definitely a win if you decide to buy it. It's good for cord cutters. It's good for uh, that third or fourth room that you don't really have anything going on in there and you want something want something in there for when company comes hey this box is good um you know again i i can't say enough good things about it for the 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 low specs that it has it operates as one of those as good as one of those really expensive boxes so 27 not 27 dollars and 99 cent go on to amazon um, go on Amazon and you'll find it. You'll also see the the, uh, the the link in my description where you can where you can find this on Amazon. I'll put that in there. Um, definitely, it is a good box. I give it a ten out of ten. I mean, I did not have any stutters. Uh, I didn't have any buffering issues. Right now, I'm on Wi-Fi, and for copyright reasons, I would have played you guys some stuff. I like to always try to play you guys some some things on here. But um, definitely just a good, smooth operating box. I, I, I would recommend this to any of my friends or family members. OK, um, this is another winner right here. Next smart box. These guys, they really did it on this one. Uh, the last one was good, but it was just a, the, 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 the OS was a little clunky. It was a little slow, uh, but you still could do everything. You just had to you know wait on the OS. But this right here is really, really smooth. I think. Android Marshmallow may have something to, to do with this. And I think this is, uh, let me see if this is Android Marshmallow uh, for you guys. I don't think it's Android. I think it's Lollipop. Yeah. Let me go. Let me see if I can get this for you. Okay. Let's 
It's a little clunky here. <laughs> well, I guess it's not going there. Um, but I take my word and I think it's, yeah, it's Android Lollipop. If I can uh, get into the, let me see. Um, go down here. About box, about device. Go here and okay. So Android lollipop. Cool. That's what it, I think. That's the reason why this box is so smooth because of the operating system. It's just really, really smooth. Okay, so when you buy, you may not even have to do any updates, but it uh, when you log into Google, it are automatically do updates for you. So uh, let me go ahead and then switch over and let, and let you guys see. I don't want to keep you too long. Let me let you guys see the uh, the video game portion. Okay, all right, stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back with the gaming portion here. I said I wanted to get um, uh, Beach Boogie Blitz is one of the games that's just to show you uh, what it's capable of, uh, capable of. I went into the graphics mode and turned everything on maximum and it's just an awesome awesome looking picture um, it's definitely enough to keep the kids uh, uh, in tights for a while um, but in, in, in combination I'm using the game sir the game sir controller remote controller right here okay it's called the game sir or game pad and it resembles a PS3 remote control I mean game controller but it's really really good and then also I'm using this the original rem remote that came with it to uh, I guess it's not it's not completely compatible with this so on some of the functions I have to use the uh, the mouse okay so we're gonna go ahead and go into some of the gameplay here and let you see what it looks like now I'm not the best game in the world okay I'm using the gamepad and it works perfectly. Okay, so definitely this is something that um, keep the kitties busy for a while, guys. Yeah. This box works really, really well. Again, for only twenty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents, it works as good as one of those, um, one of those uh, really high-end uh, Android TV boxes, guys. It's really something else. Okay. So yeah. This game controller is really easy to. <laughs> it's really easy to keep it going, guys. And wash, wash out. It's still going. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of that. Yeah. So it's a like I said. It's a. It doesn't do like major major games, but stuff like this, and, and you can download this again from the Google Play Store for free and other games like this too so a definitely definitely a win when it comes to uh, just you know just playing just just free games you know just so definitely this is a it's a it's a good box I cannot say anything bad about it whatsoever okay guys so let's just go ahead and go back to home um, want to finish up this review by saying thank you for coming to my channel uh, next smart box $27.99 um, look for it at the Amazon uh, Amazon store uh, online and uh, I will put I will submit the link uh, put the link in my descriptions to the gamepad the next smart box and also the air mouse okay uh, thank you guys uh, and I'll talk to you later stay tuned